in part one, I had already introduced you to Rakesh, a very hard-working and obedient son of Mr. Verma. Remember, he had secured first position in the country in his exam, which brought joy and happiness to the family. Okay, today we will proceed from where we stopped last class. And that was only the beginning, the first step in a great sweeping ascent to the radiant heights of fame and fortune. The thesis he wrote for his MD brought Rakesh still greater glory if only in select medical circles. He won a scholarship. He went to the USA. That was what his father learned to call it and taught the whole family to say, not America, which was what the ignorant neighbors call it, but with a grand familiarity, the USA where he pursued his career in the most prestigious of all hospitals and won encomiums from his American colleagues, which were relayed to his admiring and glowing family. The achievement that Rakesh obtained as a young man was just the beginning. His achievement kept soaring as he moved on. He wrote a thesis for his MD, here MD means Doctor of Medicine, so he wrote a thesis in which he got a scholarship to study in the USA. Now even in the US, he pursued his career in the most prestigious of all hospitals. And wherever he worked, he would get praise everywhere. Here encomiums means praise. His colleagues would praise him. They loved him. And this made his parents even happier. What was more? He came back. He actually returned to that small yellow house in the once new but increasingly shabby colony right at the end of the road where the rubbish vans tipped out their stinking contents for pigs to nose in and rag packers to build their shacks on, all steaming and smoking just outside the neat wire fences and well-tended gardens. To this, Rakesh returned and the first thing he did on entering the house was to slip out of the embraces of his sisters and brothers and bow down and touch his father's feet. There are some people who don't like coming back to India once they get job abroad. But Rakesh was different. In spite of being employed in prestigious hospitals in the US, he decided to come back home to his humble family. After being employed for some years in the U.S., he returned back to his small yellow house which was located at the end of the road near the rubbish area. So there were pigs, there were rag pickers around. It was not a very nice place to live. But Rakesh was not at all ashamed of his background. The day he arrived, he embraced his sisters and brothers. And the moment he saw his father, he slipped out of the embraces of his sisters and brothers and bowed down and touched his father's feet, like how he often did in the past. As for his mother, she gloated chiefly over the strange fact that he had not married in America, had not brought home a foreign wife as all her neighbors had warned her he would, for wasn't that what all Indian boys went abroad for. Instead, he agreed almost without argument to marry a girl she had picked out for him in her own village, the daughter of a childhood friend, a plump and uneducated girl. It was true, but so old-fashioned, so placid, so complacent, that she slipped into the household and settled in like a charm, seemingly too lazy and too good-natured to even try and make Rakesh leave home and set up independently, as any other girl might have done. Rakesh did not only make his father happy. He even made his mother satisfied over the fact that he did not bring an American wife along with him. That was his mother's greatest fear, okay, because... Many of their neighbors warned his mother that Rakesh would surely bring an American wife along when he returns back home. 
but to everyone's surprise, he did not do so. Instead, he willingly married the girl his mother had chosen for him from her village. Okay, the girl was the daughter of his mother's childhood friend. She was plump, uneducated, old-fashioned. She seemed too lazy and too good-natured as well, that she did not even pressurize Rokesh to set up their own home after their marriage. So they all lived together under one roof in that small yellow house. She was plump and very pretty. For some years, Rakesh worked in the city hospital, quickly rising to the top of the administrative organization and was made a director before he left to set up his own clinic. So after he returned from the U.S., Rakesh worked in the city hospital where he became the director. But very soon, he left to set up his own clinic. He took his parents in his car, a new sky blue ambassador with a rear window full of stickers and charms revolving on strings, to see the clinic when it was built and the large signboard over the door on which his name was printed in letters of red with a row of degrees and qualifications to follow it like so many little black slaves of the regent. Rakesh would often take his parents around for a ride in his new sky blue ambassador decorated with stickers and charms revolving on strings. They would go and visit his clinic which was being built at that time and on the clinic was a large signboard over the door on which his name was printed in letters of red. Now he had so many degrees and qualifications so under his name was his degrees and qualifications that was following each other. Thereafter, his fame seemed to grow just a little dimmer, or maybe it was only that everyone in town had grown accustomed to it at last. But it was also the beginning of his fortune, for he now became known not only as the best, but also the richest doctor in town. There are times when the fame of Rakesh seemed to grow a little dimmer than usual. Here it says maybe it was because Everyone in town had grown accustomed to him. But this did not end his fortune. Okay? He became to be known as not only the best, but also the richest doctor in town. However, all this was not accomplished in the wink of an eye. Naturally not. It was the achievement of a lifetime and it took up Rakesh's whole life. Now, Rakesh was a successful man. He is known as the richest doctor in town. But this was not accomplished overnight. He had struggled, not only him, his entire family had struggled to get him into this position. So, this is what these lines mean. At the time he set up his clinic, his father had grown into an old man and retired from his post at the kerosene dealer's depot at which he had worked for 40 years and his mother died soon after giving up the ghost with a sigh that sounded positively happy for it was her own son who administered to her in her illness and who sat pressing her feet at the last moment such a son as few women had borne when Rakesh set up his own clinic, his father had grown into an old man and he had reached the age of retirement, so he had retired from working in the kerosene dealer's depot for 40 years. His mother died very soon after, but here it says she died a very peaceful death because it was her own son who took care of her till the very last breath. 